Hello, my name is Thomas Jorgensen. I'm Senior Director of Technology Enablement, and we are live at ISC in Hamburg, Germany. The latest generation of AI accelerators allows you to scale up to AI clusters so you can better run your large language models and your Gen AI. So at Supermicro, we have these universal GPU systems that allows you to use AI accelerators from AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. So the new AI workloads that are being used today, the Gen AI large language models consume a lot of power. So data centers face increasing issues from can we deliver enough power? Liquid cooling can help address some of these issues. When you have a fully liquid cooled rack, you can save up to 25% in power consumption. Liquid cooling is becoming a requirement for higher density uh, rack systems and, and more servers in one rack. We have the Gaudi 3 server that is the very latest acceleration from Intel. We have H100 systems from NVIDIA, and we have AMD's MI300X. This is the latest and the greatest for AI workloads for anything from enterprises, on-prem to cloud service providers. So to build the new modern data centers that can accommodate AI and AI workloads, it is very important to understand what is the requirement. So density, power, cooling, all these are very, very important factors. For AI, it's about having as many servers as possible with the least amount of power use. So to cool the system, liquid cooling is becoming a must. The latest accelerators from the leading vendors, NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel, are all moving towards liquid cooled only. So future data centers will have to have liquid cooling as, as the main cooling option.